Hello. In this video, I want to show you the benefits of using a proper battery charger. This particular model here is the uh, Maha C9000. It's a charger slash analyzer. And it's what I use to charge my batteries. Now, I'm not trying to advertise this particular model or brand. It's a good one, but you don't have to buy this. What I'm saying is you shouldn't use the chargers that come with your batteries. You know, when you go to the store, there's kits that the uh, packages that are put together of rechargeable batteries and chargers that come with them, right? You shouldn't use those. You shouldn't use those because I found out the hard way and that they'll ruin your batteries over time. Uh, it'll actually uh, shorten their lifespan. And so what I've purchased, and I love this, is this model. And um, it has actually helped me to find uh, defective batteries among my batch of rechargeable batteries and my electronics, the ones that are using rechargeable batteries, are now functioning much better because of it. Instead of having a bad battery in a batch of four, say that you stick in a flash, and then you wonder why your flash isn't working as it should, or it peters out after a little bit, uh, well now I know why, and uh, now it's working properly. I highly recommend that you get one of these. Again, not this particular model or brand, just one of these. When I first got my charger, I tested all my batteries on it just to see which ones were still good and which ones needed to be replaced. And right away, it found all of these rechargeable batteries to be bad. All of these right here, all these Energizer batteries. Now, I've been using these for some time. Oops, this one has a magnet on it. I've been using these batteries for some time. This is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> I've been using these batteries for some time and um, I always wondered why in the world were they performing so poorly. As soon as I charged them, it seemed that they started to lose it, to lose their charge, and um, it just seemed like I never got a really uh, a decent amount of work out of them. And even if I charge them and then lay them aside for a week, I pick them up after a week, put them in my flash or uh, one of my cameras or one of my electronics, and they're almost dead. All the charge has seeped out of them. So I think you can, I know I can safely say for myself, and you're welcome to make that judgment call on your own, is that I'm not going to purchase batteries like this anymore. No more of these Energizer, rechar Energizer rechargeable batteries for me. They just aren't quality. Um, now these batteries, these are from greenbatteries.com. These green ones right here. They performed very well for me for, um, gosh, I think uh, close to five years. And uh, these were my go-to batteries. Uh, but you know, as with all batteries, uh, the life will go out of them at some point. And these died in the, uh, in action, as we say. <laughs> and, uh, and so after that, my, uh, my charger uh, found them to be bad. And so I had to lay them aside. Same thing with these GP uh, batteries right here. They were really good, albeit not for as long as these ones. Uh, these were really good for, I think, a couple years. And then this one died out. I think I still have a, a few more of these that are still good. So this one, for some reason, died out early. Let me recommend what batteries you get when you look for rechargeable batteries. Now, I haven't used everything out there, but out of the brands that I have used, I can safely recommend these right here. Um, I can highly, highly recommend the Sanyo Eneloop ones. They hold their charge for a really long time. And they're also really good. They, they give you nice power when you use them. I also recommend, surprisingly so, because I actually didn't expect these to be so good, but they are. Uh, the rechargeable ones uh, that, that you get sold at the Apple store, they come together with this kit. I think there are four of them inside the kit and the charger. Now, don't use a charger unless you're actually traveling and don't have access to your real charger. You know, the one that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Because any fluctuations in current will get transferred to the batteries. And if you're in a country where the current does fluctuate a lot, you can end up ruining the batteries. And I actually ruined a pair of these because I was using one of these chargers. Now these ones are also really good from greenbatteries.com. They lasted about five years for me. So, and they also held their charge 
a fairly long amount of time, maybe a month or two or three. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, and then I would also recommend these ones. I've used them, and these ones came in a kit for me with, with this charger. Um, and the charger was also kind of decent. Um, so if you don't have access to a, a proper charger like uh, like the Maha C9000, then you can use something like that. Um, so I would recommend these four types of batteries because I've used them, I know they work. These ones are the best, the Sanyo and Loop ones. So get those if you can. Uh, but any of these other three are also good. I thought I'd show you how the charger works. Now it's got uh, an e-ink display over here and it'll light up in a second when I plug it in. It's also got four modes. It has a simple charge mode. This is a default one that uh, happens automatically when you put batteries into these slots if you don't select another mode. So it'll give you, I think, something like a minute to select something else and if you don't, it'll just proceed with a normal charge. It has a refresh and analyze mode, the second one, which is for batteries that you haven't charged up in a long time. It'll actually charge it up and then discharge it, do a bit of analysis on it and charge it back up to the optimum charge. It's got a break-in mode, that's for new batteries, where I think it goes through multiple charge and discharge cycles. And then it has a discharge cycle mode where it just you can set it for as many as you want, uh, as many discharge cycles as you want. This is aiming to bring tired batteries back to life. So um, that's good to do, I guess. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. Once in a while, when you see that a battery isn't performing as it should. So let me plug it in, and you'll see the display light up and uh, power up. There we go, it's up. And I'm gonna put in a bunch of batteries, and uh, some of these batteries are bad, and it should spot them. So why don't I go ahead and load them in. There are no rules about where to put the batteries in the base. You can choose to put one here, and one here, or one here, and one there. It really doesn't matter. Each bay charges independently, and so it's fine. Now, um, let me, I suppose, proceed with uh, the charging. Yeah, it's auto-selected the charge for me, so the default mode. And at some point, it should start finding the bad batteries. So we're just going to wait a bit and see. There's a little arrow here, if you can see it, um, and that indicates which slot it's displaying the information for. So right now it's displaying the info for slot number one for this battery over here. And then it's gonna go to slot number two, here we go, and it's showing the info for it. And then it's gonna switch to slot, slot number three and slot number four and so on. And it's just gonna keep cycling through the slots, displaying the, the information for each one of them. And there we go, it's found out that uh, the battery in slot number three, or this one, is bad. And of course it is because it, it was one of the batteries that uh, I knew was already bad. But as I mixed them together, I didn't know which one was which. Um, so it spotted it for me, I'm going to remove it. There we go. After I took out this uh, battery, uh, I put another one in, in the bay where I took it out, uh, another battery which I knew was bad. And sure enough, after a little bit of time, it told me that it was. And this is something that you can do with this charger. As I said, this each bay functions independently. And so you can take out batteries from each bay and stick in new ones while the other ones are charging, which is pretty cool. Now, as you can see, um, three of the batteries are now fully charged. So you see slots 1, 2, and 4 are completely charged. Slot 3 isn't done yet because remember I switched out this battery. Uh, the battery that I had in there before was defective. The, the, the uh, apparatus here found it to be defective, but so I switched it out. This is going to take a little longer to, to charge up. Um, but that's how things stand. And I just wanted you to see how this works. And hopefully um, you'll uh, think about getting one of these. Um, 
charger analyzer types of machines. They're really worth money um, because they do a much better job of charging the battery and conditioning them over the long term uh, than the uh, the chargers that the simple plug-in chargers that, that that usually ship with the batteries. So just to uh, show you what the box looks like here, see that's uh, that's the box that this came in with. So this is I guess the company that makes it is Power X, and the name of the model again is MHC9000. Yeah, the, uh, the tagline here, I don't know about that. Charger analyzer from the future. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's not that advanced. It's pretty cool, but it's not that advanced. So, um, yeah, here's some of the features. Again, not to sell you on this particular model, but just so you know what to look for when you, um, when you look for one of these. So it's got four independent slots for AA or AAA nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, an LCD, I think it's an e-ink display, I don't think it's an LCD, but whatever. Um, it displays all those things, which is nice. Five modes of operation, uh, special forming charge and cycling mode, and 30 selectable charging and discharging speeds. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty configurable. And it's easy to use, especially for someone like me who still hasn't read the manual for this thing. <laughs> It's a because you can just put in the batteries and get them charged up. You don't need to read a whole book on this, um, but you can if you want to. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, see you next time.